Hey folks, Mark here. Just wanted to give you a quick tutorial on what I use to make the colors in my astro photos pop. Here I am in PixInsight. I've already processed this picture of the Veiled Nebula and I've gotten the star mask and the starless picture and I'm going to save both of those photos and then open them up in Photoshop and then adjust the colors to make them pop and then bring back in the stars later on. So we've used Star Exterminator here. We've saved both the files. So now let's go over to Photoshop and get that process going for us. We're going to close these guys out, open up Photoshop. And I've already previously saved the files over here. So we can go ahead and look at that. We're going to go to pictures and we're going to go to FOV test and open up our two TIFF files. And we've got those guys open now. And there they are. As you can see, they haven't had any adjustments done on them. So what we'll have to do right now is we'll have to stretch them in Photoshop. So we go here to adjustments, we go to levels, we have our histogram, and we bring our colors all the way over and it starts to make that pop. That's round number one. Let's go for round number two. We do the same thing. We bring it in. There's round number two. We've got some pretty good coloration going on there. Let's see if we can just stretch it a little bit more. Go to levels again. We bring down our blacks. We bring up our whites. And we've got our colors just about where we want them. And we'll bring our blacks down a little bit more. And there we have it. We've got our veiled nebula here, but it's looking a little bit flat. So here's a thing I want to show you. What I'm going to do is I'll duplicate this layer and we'll do all the adjustments on the duplicate layer and then we can take a view back and forth of what we did to change it. So I'll do Command J to double my vision or to duplicate my image and then the secondary image here, the layer one image, I'm going to go and take this image I'm going to change the mode to lab color and it will ask me if I want to flatten it no I don't want to flatten it because that will take away the secondary layer so now that we're in lab mode I'm going to adjust the A and the B channel lab is luminescence A and B channels so we'll go here we'll go to image we'll go to adjustments and we'll go to curves and we have our three choices here Luminous A and B. So we'll go to A channel and what we're going to do is we're going to bring in our sliders to about the first marker there. We'll call it 65 just for ease of adjustment. 66, 64, 65. There we go. And then we'll go to B channel, do the same thing. You can also use the keyboard to punch in the numbers directly. That way you don't have to play with the sliders. So now we've got our colors much brighter and much more visible than we did before. And what we can do is we can mask this off and we can apply those colors just to where we want to. So we've got our layer open. First what we'll do is now that we've made those color changes let's go back to our image. We'll change the mode back to RGB and we don't have to flatten it again. We're not going to flatten it. We're going to create a mask. We hit our mask button here. We now have a mask we can invert that mask by hitting Control plus I. And then we can use a brush with a white color background. And we can brush in 
where we want to on the image to bring out the color. So here we have an opacity of 73%. And that's another thing up here. You can take your opacity slider and you can adjust your opacity. If you didn't want the colors as bright as you had them, you can take that down and make the opacity less. But for this tutorial, we'll just leave it as is to give you an idea. I use my bracket keys to bring out the slider, get the ball a little bit bigger to brush on, come in here, bring my brush along there, bring those lights up a little bit there, get them down here, and there we go. We have now done, brought all those colors back up. And after this, you bring in your star shot. Here's our stars. We can match them together Control A for selecting it all, Control C to copy it, come back to our thing, Control V to paste it, and now we have it on there. And now what we can do is we can adjust the opacity of this layer to bring back the stars. So, and that's another tutorial all in itself is bringing those back in. All I wanted to show you guys was the fact that you could use LAB to brighten up your colors. So that's it for today. That's our tip for you. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you do, like and subscribe.